Hi guys, this is Bipin Kumar. Welcome to the channel of Special Information Technology. In this video, we will discuss a very useful Python library that is Jital. This library of tools used for manipulating geospatial data. It works on both raster and vector data types and is an incredible useful a tool to be familiar when working with geospatial data. This library can be used programmatically and uh, also includes a command line interface. In today's video demonstration, I uh, will be focusing on the command line interface only. Okay, to move forward, uh, first see uh, the JDAL package is installed in the system or not by typing pip install pipso JDAL. Yeah. JDAL package is installed here having the version 2.3.3 and these are all the description of this version of JDAL. And if it is not installed, you can install by, using sim uh, by simply typing pip install uh, JDAL or if it, will not, uh, if it will not work then simply you can install it by using conda install JDAL. You can watch my previous video and you will get all this information how to install the how to install the python packages once uh, you have uh, a verified jdal has been successfully installed uh, we will discuss here commonly used command uh, for the geospatial data first uh, uh, command line interface command is ozr info this is uh, and uh, this command is basically uh, used for uh, getting the information about a vector data, uh, data set. And uh, second uh, command will discuss JDAL info. This command is used for getting the information about a raster data set. And uh, third command will discuss here OZR to OZR. This command is used uh, uh, to convert vector data between the formats and uh, fourth and last uh, command will discuss JDAL translate. And uh, this command line interface command uh, is used to convert raster data between the formats. All right. Uh, let us start the brief demonstration of all these four command line interface command out of which uh, the first command, command is OZR info. Uh, these are all um, the parameters of uh, uh, this OZR info command. If you do not know about of these parameters simply you can get it by the manual of OZR info. See here all the like prefix minus R O E L. What's the meaning of all this thing? Uh, minus S O S O is for summary only. Minus E L means uh, list all the feature of all layers. Uh, these are basically the you know uh, the help des uh, description of all these prefix. So if you want to get the information of any vector data set. So simply you need to write uh, OZR info. Let's see any save file is there or not in this directory. Uh, yeah, one save file is there. That is demo dot shp. Just type demo dot shp. See here. Uh, this is uh, using, dri uh, using driver is this save file successful? There is uh, one a feature in this um, save file. And the feature type is 3D polygon. Uh, if you want to get full summary of this save file, then simply you need to type OZR info minus SO as demo dot save file. This uh, th these are the summary. But uh, if you type all the list of the layer. See here, this will give the full description of um, this vector uh, this vector data set. 
and uh, out of which uh, the there is uh, one feature it means uh, you can see here feature count is one it means uh, there is one feature a single polygon in this uh, data set layer and uh, second uh, is giving the second uh, information is extent basically a total extent of uh, this uh, save file layer say uh, this is top left and bottom right coordinates and uh, third information is uh, the SRS that is spatial reference of this data set is in a uh, well known text format WKT format all right uh, you can also see all this information into some uh, UI interface let's uh, open the uh, let's open any JS platform that is QGIS and you can also you know uh, check the information of what we have uh, get the information through the command line you can also get the information here let's see see here there is only one feature count is there and if you want to see the coordinate system of uh, this thing uh, see here it's um, mm, 40 wg 34 and the same information you are getting here and it's wg 34 WKT format. Uh, you can also see, um, I mean, what's the data format is supporting this uh, OGR info command line interface simply by typing OGR info formats. Oh my god, just too many formats supporting by the digital, and uh, you can get any information. Mm, that is listed here. So, I mean, too many data formats supporting the JDAL. Uh, let's say if you want to convert to one data format to another data format, you can easily convert uh, by using OZR to OZR. That is the second command line interfa interface OZR to OZR. Uh, and uh, same if you want to get the help uh, full help dis uh, description of uh, OZR to OZR simply you need to type man OZR to OZR of oh, OZR yeah all the help, de help dis uh, description here let's suppose uh, I want to convert save file to the GeoJSON format or KML format simply into type OZR uh, to OZR minus F suppose I want to convert into the KML file format and uh, see here uh, first uh, we need to provide the destination for a, a, a data format that is uh, this is um, required uh, input parameter these are all the optional input parameter the first is destination data source name and uh, second is source data, uh, data source name uh, let's say i want to give the kml file name um, test dot kml and input data source is demo dot shp it's already converted here see here this is test.kml file format is already converted from save file to kml format also if you want to get the information of uh, this uh, uh, this test.kml simply you know type the same thing ozr info minus cl list all all list of uh, layers minus so basically the for used for summary and test.kml see all the description of um, this camera file is there you can also convert um, uh, the coordinate system of uh, the input save file or input vector data set through OZR to OZR uh, right now right now this uh, this save file have uh, is in looks like in geography coordinate system because it looks uh, here uh, it 
units in uh, degree units so if you want to convert um, into the projected coordinate system you can directly convert here uh, simply by typing OZR to OZR minus target SRS suppose uh, since uh, it came into the 40, 43 zone so simply into type EPSG 32643 uh, 43 and this is this is the code for the EP, EPSG every zone have uh, some unique coordinate uh, unique uh, you know ID unique projection coordinate system ID so for 43 uh, north zone this is the ID of um, the projected coordinate system and uh, same the output file name test this is in utm coordinate system dot shp and input uh, file name it's already converted here see uh, test uh, utm save file is already created here and uh, if you want to check the coordinate system of this uh, generated save file same you need to type OZR info minus AL minus uh, SO test UTM dot save file see now extent is changed now uh, this one is not in degree units this is in easting and northing that is in met metric unit and uh, see, see here uh, now your zone is uh, UTM zone 43n all right so till now we have discussed uh, about uh, how to get uh, the information about of uh, a vector file and how can we convert from one data format to other data format of a vector data set and uh, how can we convert uh, a coordinate system from one source to different source now let's move uh, to the raster data set uh, if you want to get the information of a raster data set simply into type zidal info and a raster data set name let's see any raster file is there or not yeah looks like one demo.tiff raster file is there demo.tiff raster file is there you can see all this description of uh, the raster, uh, raster file format the size is uh, 1952 2872 this is this is basically number of rows in number of column and this is the coordinate system of this raster file and these are the extent uh, of uh, this raster file upper left lower left upper right lower right as in uh, easting and northing coordinate system as well as in uh, DMS format, DMS system, degree, uh, minute and second corner system. Same, uh, if you want to see the minimum and maximum value of uh, uh, this uh, raster data set, so simply into type uh, zidal info minus minus mm and demo dot tiff of uh, you need to type this one only see here you will get uh, the computed minimum and maximum value of uh, this data set that is 45.4991 is the minimum value and 50.979 is maximum value and all right now move to the last interface uh, last command line interface command that is uh, jital translate and if you want to see the all format supported by the jital transmit simply into type all formats oh my god there is also too many file formats supported by the jital command for the raster data set uh, here you can convert uh, into too many uh, raster uh, raster file formats see here png jpeg is also supported here 
apart from this too many file formats supported for the raster data sets let's say if you want to convert uh, the tiff file format into uh, some other file format say uh, jpeg file format so simply into type jpeg and input data set that is demo dot tiff and uh, i will give output file name demo one dot jpeg okay uh, i forget to give minus f c here uh, we need to give the prefix uh, hyphen then only it will work uh, the output is already created here see demo1.jpg is already created here that's how we can convert uh, from uh, one file format into a different file format for the raster data set uh, one more thing i left here uh, that is how we can convert uh, from one coordinate system to another coordinate system for the raster data set uh, see uh, this raster file looks like in uh, uh, easting and northing that is in projected coordinate system that is 43n now if you want to convert uh, uh, from one coordinate system into the other coordinate system let's say for a geographic coordinate system uh, for this we need some different command line uh, that is jdal warp here uh, you can um, specify minus tsrs that is target data set uh, target um, uh, SRS name and uh, basically you need to specify the coordinate system where you uh, where you you know to where you want to convert it hmm. so simply into type uh, jdal warp minus target SRS and if I want to convert into 4326 that is in geography coordinate system and source data sets name what is the source uh, data set name that is uh, in EPSG 32643 and uh, input file that is demo dot tiff output file I will give demo 2 dot 2 dot tiff it's already correct converted here see demo 2 dot tiff file is created here and uh, uh, if you want to get the information of dem demo 2 dot tiff see now it is converted into uh, geographic coordinate system that is wg 34 and see here now it's in the it's in decimal degree form <sighs> that's how we can convert um, the one coordinate system to another coordinate system that's all for this video guys uh, till now we have discussed the commonly used command line interface for GS parcel data. In upcoming videos, I will discuss other utilities in details for uh, GS parcel data. If you like my video, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe my channel so that uh, you will get notification for my upcoming videos. Sign off for today. Bye bye.